Alright, hey, uh, hey, all right, hey, Zamega here. So, uh, I just got done getting insurance for the Suron, uh, bike, and, uh, uh, my, my, pro uh, my, my insurance is, uh, Progressive, so, um, that's the one I use for all my motorcycles there, and, uh, and I, I getting, I'm getting insurance through them through USAA, so if you guys are wondering what insurance I use, um, so what I did was, um, so I got, I got insurance for the bike just now <laughs> so, and it was a so I couldn't I couldn't go online and and do it you know I couldn't just put in all the numbers and stuff and and like and just add it to the policy I had to actually call them so because um, uh, it asks a couple things to add it um, I'm not gonna go over the website too much but uh, it asks for like a make I think and uh, there and it's not li it wasn't listed on the website um, I had to choose like other, I guess. There, there was, there was no Suron on there, or uh, and then, uh, and then it asked for like a, how many CC. So I would, I put try to put zero. It says you can't put zero. <laughs> I was like, okay, but I have, I have registered an electric bike before, and, and it is zero. You, you had zero CCs, um, and uh, what, what else? Um, it asked for a VIN number, and the VIN number that I got that's on the ID card that was issued by the DMV it um it uh it's only 16 digits whereas a regular VIN number is 17 digits so it wouldn't let me do that either and and then it asked for a year and and like the year the year it was registered in was 2018 so that's what I that's what I put in so um and the, and it wouldn't let me so I had to call them so I called them up, and it was it was actually pretty um, it was pretty pretty it's pretty awesome the way the the, the progressive uh, like it has like a like an operator like a computer operator and you can actually talk to it and stuff and all I, all I have to say is like a, I want to add a vehicle to my policy and it's like okay we can help you with that and then, then it start it calls a, like a live operator for that and then and then I just told them uh, I bought a moped. I bought a I bought an electric bike that was registered as a moped, and I need to get insurance for it. And and like he was, yeah, he was kind of like scratching his head too, because uh, because I gave him, he's like, okay, give me the VIN number. So I gave him the VIN number, and he's like, oh, it, and then he and he re read it off again to make sure it's the right VIN number, and uh, and uh, and then he said like it's it's missing a digit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, because it, it was like yeah, it, it's supposed to be 16 digits. But my VIN number was set, uh, no 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 I'm, my my VIN number is 16 digits, whereas the a, a real VIN number is supposed to be 17 digits. So I don't I, it's kind of weird, it's California man. I don't, I don't know how they they did all this, but um so so yeah I just told them like what state I'm I'm in and where the bike is gonna be parked at. I gave them my zip code, mm -hmm. and uh, and I told them the the make was a Soron. I gave them I told them Soron. And um, what else did I have to give him? I think that's about it. And I told him it was a moped. I don't know if it's going to say, I don't think it'll say moped, but, and um, what else? Yeah, I told, well, I told him it was an electric bike and everything. And he said like, okay, well, I don't know if we can insure it, but we can try, try to put it in the system. <laughs> so, so it, and apparently it worked. So he said he had to add like extra zeros or something for the, um, for the VIN number or something. So. I did it so so it would accept it so I hope that I hope that's good I, I think it should be good and uh, he asked me like what kind of coverage I wanted and I told him like I'm pretty sure I'm like all my bikes they got liability if I crash them like my bikes are old and they're cheap and uh, if I crashed it I could probably repair it myself or just sell it for parts you know so um, so that's that's what I plan to do for the Suron if if I crash it I fix it myself and if I can't I will just park the bike out or something or sell it as it is so, um, so I I always just do liability um, that way you know you're covered if somebody sues your ass <laughs> there's only so much damage I think you could do with a with a freaking bike or bicycle or or motorcycle so um, yeah so and then, then that was pretty much it um, and then uh, and then I and then he told me my my insurance is going to go up by like $19 and like 98 cents or something. I was like, $20? I'm like, okay, that's cool. $20 for a full year of coverage. It's, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, so, 
so yeah, I was. It's it's a good thing it's not really expensive to register it um, because like I'm up to my ass paying registration for motorcycles, man. Um, a motorcycle. I, oh, so I haven't um, I haven't transferred the bike yet. So I'm gonna go do that right now. That's why I went and got the insurance so I could go ride it over there and then we can go do the insurance and everything. Um, but uh, but I, I'll, I will shoot a separate video on that when I when I get done. I, we're gonna go to AAA and do it. Uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, hopefully they can do it. Um, I, they better not make me go to the freaking DMV. <laughs> um, and uh, so so yeah, it was twenty dollars to insure it. Um, that's was just liability, and um, and I'm still I'm still kind of up in the air. Like how am I supposed to ride this thing? Like it, supposedly it can only go thirty miles an hour. Supposedly, right? Um, and, uh, and like, what if I'm riding somewhere faster than 30, that has a speed limit faster than 30 miles an hour? What do I do? Just stay to the right, you know, <laughs> split lanes, like, like, Hey, you can pass me uh, 30 miles an hour. You know, it sounds, it sounds really stupid because, uh, I, I don't see it would be better just to have this titled as a motorcycle and I just ride it as fast as I can ride it, man. <laughs> it would be so much easier if you could title it as a motorcycle, but. We we can't. Uh, we have to we have to register it as a moped that has a speed limit of 30 miles an hour. So it's just not much faster than a Type 3 electric bike. So it's 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 kind of stupid, man. Uh, these California laws don't make sense, man. Um, and I don't think I can ride it in the bike lane too. So uh, that, that's going to be another. That's going to like I said, like we're going to be splitting lanes with it. Like <laughs> vehicles are going to be sharing the lane with you. <laughs> so I. I Usually on a motorcycle, you're pa you're the one passing the cars, while the cars will be passing you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe if there's a car that's trying to get by, you just kind of just go as close as you can to the, or just go in the bike lane a little bit and let them pass, and then go back out. I I don't know what to do, man. Um, but uh, yeah, so so I'll I'll get a video of uh, me riding the Suron to uh, AAA, and then that'll be like the first official like video documented ride. I have rode it up and down the block. We'll we'll go ride around the neighborhood first. And um, and see what it's like, but uh, but yeah, so it was twenty dollars progressive. Um, it was liability. I'm in California, um, and it's a California um, registered Suron bike moped, as a moped basically. And and all they needed was the VIN number, which is too short, and um, and the make. And and oh, another another thing they said like uh, they said like a. Uh, uh, they said the manufacturer or like uh, is it, they asked me like is the manufacturer or like the something 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 Luna Luna cycles I was like um, yeah I guess so um, they're the ones that sell the bike in America so um, so yeah they asked they actually somehow they knew that that Luna cycles is the one that sold them so um, unless you imported it you know um, yeah so so that's the dealy. Uh, they did actually know there is some kind of info on the Sauron out there, so hopefully, uh, I mean, hopefully it gets better. Um, it would be nice to title it, or it would be nice to register it as a uh, a motorcycle, so you didn't have to worry about these stupid moped laws. But I think I'm just just ride it. I think what I'm just gonna do is just I'm just gonna ride it and just follow the speed limits. You know, just don't go faster than the speed limits, and I think it'll be fine. And don't don't do any stupid stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so. All right, so that was my experience uh, getting insurance for the Suron. Um, uh, the, you know, the, the way I see it right now, I think it would be better just to leave it as an e-bike. Um, if you have, if, if you're, if it's an e-bike, I think you have to, I think you have to be 16 or something and you have to wear like a, a bicycle helmet and, uh, and you have to operate it in the bike lanes at speeds no greater than like 25 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour or something like that and then you don't need you don't uh, I don't know so uh, it would be classified as like a type 3 e-bike there California there are like some California laws for like e-bikes already and they've been around for a while too so I was surprised um because I, I, I built an e-bike a while ago and um and I didn't do, do anything with it <laughs> just ride it on the street and I know I can get it to 20 25 miles an hour so um yeah so uh, I think it's just better to leave it as an electric bike and then just ride it around in the bike lanes, you know, and then, uh, and just, yeah, don't do anything stupid <laughs> with it. But, uh, uh, 
yeah, I think it's just better to keep it as an e-bike because this moped thing is just, it's kind of dumb to <laughs> think about it. And now uh, it, it was only $20 to insure it. That's not much, you know, but at least you're covered, you know, if you get in some kind of accident. Um, I don't know if the bike is going to be covered. I, I seriously doubt it. Well, I got liability. The bike isn't going to be covered no matter what. Um, and uh, what else is the problem? Uh, oh, and then, and then the registration. We'll see how much the registration costs when I get to AAA. I'll, I'll shoot a separate video on that. And, um, and yeah, so when I switch the title over, it is really weird to everything. So, all right. So. That's the uh, insurance accomplished. <laughs> so now I can ride it. Um, I can ride it without, you know, uh, I don't know about getting pulled over and stuff with it. And shall I say this is my insurance and blah, blah, blah. You got to have, I know, there's stuff you have to carry with you all the time. Uh, it's kind of, I know, it kind of sucks. Um, the plus, plus you're not supposed to, it's not supposed to have more than, more, more power than to go past 30 miles an hour. So it's just like a, what the hell, man? It's like, it's like you're really not much better than a bicycle, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure on a, like a road bike or something, if you're hauling ass, you can, you might be able to hit 30 miles an hour, maybe. Um, you know, like on a downhill, I'm pretty sure you could. Um, but yeah, 30 miles an hour is pretty terrifying on a bicycle, actually, when I think about it. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, that is my experience uh, ensuring the uh, Suron might be. Uh, that was uh, registered as a, a moped. Alright, here's my go. Okay, one more clip. Uh, so, so here's the, this is the insurance card that I got for the, uh, the, uh, um, the Suron bike. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. They put some weird stuff in there. So it, it, um, it shows up as a separate card compared to, uh, my, uh, um, my motorcycles. Like, uh, my motorcycles are, like, it's like all listed, doo -doo 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 -doo, like there's like four motors, I have four motorcycles and it just lists them. And then, and it was a separate card um, that I had to print out that has it just by itself. So that's the, that's what the card looks like. Uh, that's my name right there. And um, yeah, so I had, I hid the policy number and some of the VIN there, but there's the VIN right there from the, from this guy, the ID card. And then, um, and then, yeah. Um, it's uh, listed as year 2018 make Luna um, model Suron. I think it's like it should be like the opposite. Right? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's always wrong. They always put the wrong thing uh, on. Uh, I think the important thing is like if you have the VIN number there. But uh, but so this VIN number is like it's it's a little different than the one that's on the ID card. Um, they just they, like you said, he added zeros to it at the end and um, at, to, to get it to to go in the system so so that's what these extra zeros are these two zeros at the end here they're extra zeros um, uh, so so yeah that's the dealio there um, yeah it's really weird um, this is like a weirdest thing I, I, I'm still wondering if I can get it to be registered as a motorcycle I I know technically you're supposed to have reflectors and we don't have reflectors on the on the Saran at least I don't think so um, that's the one thing that's missing, I think, just reflectors. Because um, those little LED strips don't, they're not reflective. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, that's the card I just wanted to show you. Um, so, I have to have this on me when I'm operating it all the time. So, um, maybe I'll just put it in my wallet or something. All right. So, there it is. Um, with that, will that work if Merlin gets in an accident? With the Suron and like it kills somebody, <laughs> well, will the insurance uh, pay for it? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know how much damage you could do with the Suron bike, man. Um, yeah. Well, you could crash into another bike, yeah. Um, kill somebody, maybe. Uh, um, but yeah, that's the thing. Um, better have good health insurance. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> all right. Also, as I was cutting out the insurance uh, card. Um, I thought about like uh, in California, the way it works is uh, the DMV ha knows like if you have insurance, um, the the insurance companies got to report to the DMVs like whether you have like coverage for a vehicle or not. And if your if your vehicle is registered, you know it's street legal to go. You know you can drive it on the, on the public roadways. Um, you need to have uh, you need to have uh, insurance, and they report that 
to the DMV. So I'm wondering, like, are, is the DMV going to know that I have insurance for this bike? <laughs> so um, I, I will have a follow-up video if something, something like, happens that, like, you know. Um, so, so what happens is if you have a registered vehicle and you take, uh, you take the, your insurance coverage off of it, um, your insurance has to report that to the DMV that you don't have coverage on it and it's registered. And then what they do is like they send you a, they send you a notice saying that like hey your your um, your registration is going to be uh, suspended until you can get um, until you can get uh, insurance uh, until you get insurance back on on thing. So uh, so yeah, um, I'm wondering if that's going to happen to the to the Soron bike. Like, will they actually know? Like, well, will the you know two systems talk to each other blah 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 like yeah this it's all new stuff to me man like the motorcycles i don't have any problems with them so um the this one i i don't know man <laughs> we'll see so yeah there may be a follow-up video later on uh, whether uh, whether that that reporting system works or not because if it doesn't I'm gonna to have to go to the DMV and I show them like, hey, this thing has been insured. I got the card right here, uh, and uh, it's been insured for a while, and uh, and then, then yeah, this this is proof. I have the card right here. So, but um, yeah. So, we'll see when we when we when we go. Re I haven't registered yet, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go right now and go register. All right, is we go.